Greetings, fellow Tarnished. It is the Ash Heritor, and welcome back to Elden Ring. It's been a little while since I've last played. I think I've finally gotten my PC issues sorted out, hopefully. Turns out my uh, RAM wasn't properly inserted, or it had come loose somehow. Now we're back up to full RAM capacity. Hopefully it stays that way. And uh, yeah, we are in the Shaded Castle. Still quite a few uh, places we need to check out. Uh, there's that item right there, and there's this, uh, this jerk perfumer who's gonna throw fancy, uh, fire at me. Okay, alright. You know, I haven't been playing for a little while, so this, this may be the end of me. Let me, uh, get to the, get to the flask here. Alright, mate. If you're gonna be like that, I'm gonna be like this. Okay? Alright, we got ourselves another depraved perfumer robe. So we need to get way up there. Man, uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go to the inner gate, because I think that's gonna be able to get us to there, because I wanna sneak past, or sneak back and get that, that item. Which I sincerely, sincerely, sorry, hope isn't just a, uh, stone sword key. <laughs> you know, it's a cracked pot, I'll take that. That's, uh, that's acceptable. Where... We were, we were there at the Shaded Castle Rampart, so we came up that way. Ah, we gotta go all the way... Where? Where, actually? I don't know. Up there? Maybe we need to go higher still. Tell you what. I seem a little bit lost. Because I haven't played probably a week. Right, well that's a direction. This is a direction with a ghost. Let's actually talk to with a ghost and a dog. Nice try. House Marais is ruined. The deserts were failing, for falling from that severed harpy. Oops, missed the last thing. No surprise that guilty cretin took the castle and our storied sword. Another storied sword set in a castle, right? So we've seen that in Castle Morn already. Like every castle has its own sword. Kind of interesting. Um. All right, so they fell to a harpy. So I'm getting some Canehurst vibes here with the uh, the statues, which uh, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. Canehurst was fucking cool. Oh, nice try. These must be the aristocrats of the castle. You know the nobles. That once lived here. I mean, they're still here. These statues, I'm, I'm very suspicious of them. It's a page. Interesting. Oh my god. Okay. Can we not do that? Oh my god. Jesus Christ, lock on. Alright. That's enough of you. Okay, that is a gold eye. Be worth some runes. 840 for a one hit kill enemy. I'll take it. <laughs> we got? I hear something scuttling around. Outside, we have the ladder in there. Don't worry, I saw it. We have this outdoor place that I want to check first before I go up the ladder. Alright, we'll get you. We'll grab these hefty beast bones. Don't really need for anything, but you know what? It's fine. Ooh, another clean rot knight. Interesting. And, uh, hey, you got a pretty cool weapon there, pal. I approve. Now the question is... Bring me fight! I can do it better than you! <laughs> ah, nothing like a quality game of Ultimate Frisbee with more violence. To, uh, keep things interesting. Okay. I feel like we should probably double back to the, uh... Another item here. There's something... ...plumping around. Oh, hi. Who's you? Nice try. We got ourselves another page up there, too. Uh, shooting stuff at us. Again. Nice try. Um, if writing he doesn't have pals, I think we should be fine. Yeah, alright. Great. They, uh, another... No, that's just a statue. Okay, we really need to... Let's just not forget about the uh, ladder that went up. But I'm here now. I'm doing this. I always go back to the... Uh, I... Oh! Hi. 
Where were you even coming from? Where's the fucking dogs? Excuse me? There's just shit falling from the ceiling. Alright, I'm out of here. Going back inside. Safer in here. Alright, motherfuckers. Okay. You're a big dog. Yeah, you have a lot of health. Like, twice the health of the other dogs. So, disconcerting. Uh, he's just slowly and ominously advancing, but I don't feel like fighting him with the dog nearby. God damn it, I hate dogs so much. All right, heal. All right, clean rot knight. Ooh, it's a gold eye. You're gonna be worth a ton. Fucking block on. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, good, Scarlet Rot. I love Scarlet Rot. Let's go outside. Where it's safe. Hey. Uh, switch out. Excuse me? What a fucking dog. Alright, we got ourselves the Scarlet Rot. Has been removed. Um. There. Okay, one more. Okay. 4,000. You dropped a tree nose, Lily. Interesting. Okay. I'll take that. Alright. Um, I don't think we've been up here. Yeah, no. We... We? Kick ladder. Ah, it's a shortcut. Okay. Cool. Because we've definitely been down there. Okay, I'm going to check the recording. All good. Hopefully my RAM is uh, not going to disconnect again or anything... Foolish. Seriously, where the fuck were... There were, like, three dogs and a clean rot knight that were not immediately visible when I came up here. I really wonder where they were hiding. Like, there's all these statues that they can hide behind, and the statues do have similar colorations to the clean rot knights. Which is, you know, a little bit... a little bit tricky. Alright, what do we got up here? Oh, God. Fog wall. Alright. I'm gonna find out what this old harpy was. Uh, patches. You did say you were coming to a place like this, right? Uh, I don't know. Oh, you, you, you again. A shame you had to see me like this. Oh, I, I had a bit of a slip up, that's all. I should have stuck to what I know best. No matter. I know I I can trust you. Gullible, yes, but uh, <laughs> a good soul. Make certain that Tanith gets this. Ah, okay. So there's still something for Tanith. Dancer's castanets. I know. Oh, it's it's nothing. It's just it makes me sick to see her all bent out of shape. Interesting. Come on, Tanith. Back on your high horse where you belong. Looking out for Tanith. That's interesting. Let's actually look at this item. Pretty sure it's a key item. It's just castanets. Castanets used by dancers from distant lands. From foreign lands. Received from patches. The passionate dance comprises no seductiveness, but merely a dignified beauty. Was Tanith a dancer before joining the uh, Volcano Manor? Like, Tanith's clearly insane at this point. Like, she's trying to eat Rikard so that Rikard can use her body to be reborn. That way, you know, I don't know, they can all be part of the Serpent family or some fucked up nonsense. I wonder if Patches is trying to, like, remind her of her past so that she can snap out of it and not be crazy anymore. That's very interesting. We're definitely going to give that to Tanith because, I, I mean, we could kill her. I've actually been told maybe we should kill her uh, by a friend, but I don't want to, okay? And maybe it's just my connection to the name Tanith that makes me not want to, you know, kill her, but... No, we're gonna, we're gonna see where she goes. Like, if we have to, we have to. What the fuck are you? Elmer of the Briar. Okay. Uh, you look cool. All right. All right. All right, hey. Basically, I'm just clearing out the terrain, right? We're gonna, yeah. 
Okay, can we summon? I'm, you know what? It's, it's a bit of a long run, actually, so I am gonna summon. I don't wanna have to do this run again. I'm gonna summon these two, ladies, and, uh... You hit hard. Hey, uh, Portrait of Millennia up behind him. That's interesting. At least, at least I'm assuming that's Millennia. Like, everything we've found thus far seems to... Are you... Whoa, dude. What's up with your sword? You turned that into, like, a fucking drill. Pretty cool. Cool enemy. Very cool armor. Ow. He hurts, though. Oh, boy. That was a bit of panic rolling for a delay. Uh, All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> cool. Oh, there's a stake of Marika here. All right. That's nice. Assuming it's right outside or somewhere nearby. I didn't actually see it where we were. Yeah, okay. It's literally right out in front. And uh, I believe Patches is now gone. Okay. Wouldn't be surprised. The Wily one, Patches. All right, we're gonna go in. The the Nox Maidens are good. Um, we'll say the terrain is not great to fight this enemy on. It's very condensed. Need my I need my runes back. Okay. Hey, seriously, I was like spamming this button. And it's not grabbing them. It's very annoying. All right. What's your holy resistance like? Ah, it's not great. Okay, it's gonna come back. Damn. This this ability, this Ash of War, is seriously like. I use the wrong flask. Nice. Tell you what, you're a good fighter. I'm gonna give you a dignified death. Oh, all right. Well, the sword stresses did it. We get Marai's Executioner Sword. Okay, and that's actually an achievement. And the Briar Great Shield. Cool. Um, so I wonder... We got some Briar stuff, alright? Let's actually read the weapon descriptions first before I make my uh, connections. First off, the Marai Executioner Sword. Yeah, looks like an Executioner Sword, alright. Storied Sword of House Marai. The family of executioners who presided over the Shaded Castle. Yeah. Uh, one of the legendary armaments. Elmer of the Briar, the bell-bearing hunter, snatched the sword from the site of his looming execution and furnished it with battle skills from his homeland of Eocade. Eocade! Okay, so we have another, um, that's this one, right? Regalia of Eocade, treasured sword of Eocade, a lesser, long-vanished domain. The copper coloration is not to be confused for rust. Interesting. So, Elmer comes from Eocade. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. And indeed, it has a dancing blade, just like Yakade's dancing blade. That must be a thing from uh, this region. Very cool. Okay. Boards of Yakade dance through the sky. Yeah, indeed. All right. So, connection there. Um, that's interesting. We also got the Briar Great Shield. Yeah, originates from Yakade, the land of proudly solitary ascetics. Great shield from a foreign land used by Elmer of the Briar. Attacks with this armament utilize the iron thorns that have been wound around its frame. Very cool. Now, what I... The connection that I made with the Briars, right? There's a sorcery here. Briars of Sin. An aberrant sorcery discovered by exiled criminals. Theirs are the sorceries most reviled by the Academy. Wounds the caster with thorns of sin, creating a spiral of blood thorns. The guilty, their eyes gouged by thorns, lived in eternal darkness. There they discovered the Blood Star. Exiled criminals. Maybe in their exile they traveled to Eocade and discovered this. Leads me to think what the fuck happened in Eocade, right? A Blood Star. Possible DLC. Venture to Eocade. That'd be really cool. I mean, it's a vanished domain. Let's have Blood Flame. This is from the Lord of Blood. Okay, not associated with the Briars. Okay, very cool. Um, yeah, there is a painting of uh, the Valkyrie, right? Speaking of, we got a Valkyrie prosthetic. Um, so actually, uh, let's quickly reread that again. I, I, man, I don't remember. I, we found it somewhere in here. 
Right? Um, it's a key item. Open prosthesis, once used by the one-armed Valkyrie, a masterwork of craftsmanship with real practice and skill, it can be used as proficiently as any arm. When Malay Marai, Lord of the Shaded Castle, embraced this prosthesis, he claimed to feel the presence of his personal goddess. That may be... I wonder if they're referring to her as the Harpy, that House Marai fell when they started worshipping her, Melania, Goddess of the Rot. I, I guess if if Melania is the goddess of the rot, or maybe again Melania is just like a vessel for the goddess of the rot, or god of the rot. I don't know. I wonder if that's what uh, the ghost was referring to. That basically um, House Marai served as executioners, right? And then Malay Marai. Oh hi. What's up? How you doing? Well, if this answers the question of where the fuck the dogs were. This is bad. Wow. Um, well, that was horrible. <laughs> so, Malay Marai um, basically became a follower of the Goddess of the Rot, and through that, the Scarlet Rot spread into this castle. Um, let's quickly look and see where the depraved perfumers, uh, come in to this. Um, these heresy-inclined perfumers, um, imbibe their own spices to alter the body and mind. Yeah, uh, that doesn't really link to anything here. Maybe they're here because of the Scarlet Rot? I don't, nah, I, I don't know. They might just be opportunists. They may be here because things are bad and they're looking for stuff. Um, but yeah. Nice for it to give up me my runes from here. Right, so he's, uh, he's right down there. Is... I don't know, actually. It's the best way of, uh, dealing with this. I have... I mean, I've got... I don't think Scarlet Rot's gonna do much to them. What could I do? Tell you what. Acid spray mist? We've got spark aromatic? No. You know what? I try this. I've never actually used this yet. Let's see how effective it is. We're, we're gonna see what this can do. Alright, we're gonna get we're gonna get ready. I'm gonna move back to here. As soon as we can, I'm gonna drop down behind this place. Alright, and then we're going to uh, use the acid spray mist. Well, oh, I get it, I get it. You're supposed to spark it. Fuck you, dog. Oh, other other ability. All right, you know what? I'm going up. Bye. <laughs> it fell. <laughs> okay, I think I understand what you're supposed to do here. Actually, um, that's a bit of a it's gonna be difficult to pull off. So you release acid. Oh, we need to we need to craft it. Can I actually look at the item description? as we do this. Um, damaging enemy armaments and temporarily lowering attack power. Okay. No, maybe not. What are sparks? I don't know. I don't know. That didn't seem to do all that much. Um, man, what do I do? Well, we got one of the dogs, at least. I'll tell you what. We can, we can always try... We can always try the Flame of Frenzy. Where is the Clean Rot Knight? Okay, he's back somewhere. Where'd he go? Uh, this is now a little bit disconcerting. Did he die? Did he fucking fall in? Did both of them fall in? That would be hilarious. Alright, we got the page here. We can deal with him. Not today, pal. Very, uh, okay, so we're we're gonna go back. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would get upset at him for spamming frisbees, but that would make me a hypocrite.
Uh, it's good fun. Right, so... There, yeah. Dog here. Okay, and then we've got this jerk. You know, Valiant's attempt. It almost got me there with that. Incredibly, your time has come, and we're going to scale this ladder, because I haven't done this yet. Let's see what's up here. It's probably not much. It's probably just, like, an item that we're going to encounter. And there could be another boss here. No, but there, yeah, there is an item, and I think there's a way to get... Hey, we got the Perfumer's Cookbook number two. All right, so what's that going to allow us to make? Poison Spray Mist. Okay, that's kind of cool, and that's actually quite easy to make. Use FP to release Poison Mist. Yes, please. Okay, that's one I'm going to use, because it doesn't require any, like, super rare reagents. Unlike the other ones. Or at least unlike the, uh, the one that I currently have equipped. Yeah, what's, what's the deal with the perfumers in this place? That I don't understand. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a direct connection. They could just be here because, you know, the place is empty. They've just taken it over. Wow. It actually hit me. All right. Now, there's still more things for us to discover here. Ah! No. Pull away. Jesus Christ. Where are you at? Okay. We'll rest here. And then I'm gonna try and find a way, because there's at least one more uh, secret here. Probably even more, I would guess. Alright, let's, uh... More... More vigor. More life. Life is good. Life is the opposite of death. Sort of. Well, we can always go down here. And up here. Okay, I, yeah, I don't think I've been up here. Because there's, there's definitely an item to be found. Oh, no! Don't do this to me. Oh, God. Alright, I have an idea. Oh, well, that's interesting. Come here! Yeah, you. Ah, oh, shit. Moved way faster than I thought it would. Okay, see. Whoa, I did. I pulled it off. That's interesting. Well, now he's dead. That is so effective. <laughs> okay, I don't even know what's happening with this horse thing. He's just, he's just riding around. I, I, yeah. All right, mate. That's enough of his business. I'd like to fight a boss version of one of the horsemen or something. Like, out, out in the open world. That'd be really cool. If it was, like, a, a superior one that, I don't know, did, did some more moves than just summoning one... One of those seeking wraiths, or whatever they are. Okay, well, there was rot grease there. That wasn't much. Um, the ladder we took up. And then this is the, uh, yeah, we've been here. All right, my question is how? We, we need to go up here. So, I've been up here, mind you. There's at least two perfumers. I think there's actually three up here. We need to go back around because there's a purple item that I'm praying isn't just a fucking stone sword key. Oh yeah, let's just fight both of them right here immediately. Oh my god! Yeah, okay. I walked into that one. Sorry if there's some noise coming from outside. I have my window open because otherwise I will uh, asphyxiate in the heat. Rather hot. Okay. Um, so let's be a bit more strategic about dealing with these bastards um okay we have the runes down here which is nice not that it would be a huge loss if we lost them not all that many all right by strategy i mean 
I think I'm just gonna straight up overpower them. Alright, is that both of them? Yeah, that's two. Alright, hi guys. How about some Exikes is Decay? Excuse me? Okay, well that got rid of one of them at the cost of my entire... I... I very, very strange that it didn't hit the other one. I dropped a lot of budding cave moss. Anything over here? No, that's just to the outside of the castle. Okay, so we're gonna make our way this way. I think there's still another one of them. Yeah, there he is. Okay. They have a good backup dodge, basically. Yeah. I actually do a lot of damage with that. Okay, he's gonna heal. Alright. I, I want your hat. Damn it, I don't need more of your robes. Okay. Um, I think it was somewhere around here. Well, there is an item down there, that's for sure. And wh where's the other, uh, so the other site of grace is over that way. Hmm. There isn't, no, it's there, I can literally see it. Right? Yeah. Then I, it must be this way. There's two items down there. I'm gonna go up here to see if we can get to the purple item first. Wanted to jump up there. Don't see anything down here. Let's, uh... Right here, anything? No, that's just gonna lead us down to... Yeah. Ah. That didn't work. Um... Yeah, I don't think this is the way to get to it. I don't even know where it is anymore. Perfectly honest with you. If I could jump on horse yak thing, I would consider platforming this. As it stands, I don't... Unless we, like, have to jump to there? Is this how it's gonna be? Is it over here somewhere? Can I see it? No, I don't, I don't see anything. Alright, I, I feel like this is a dead end. We just have to go down into this, uh... Toxic hell. Flash shard. Wonderful. Ah, it's a trap. It's a trap filled with zombies. And... Oh, God. What are you guys doing there? Well, guys, uh... Look. Hey, look at that. Fuck. On. We haven't seen one of these in ages. Oh. First off, interesting. Another one of these shrines. That's where we originally spawned at. Where we, like, entered the game from, right? After Melania... Or, after Melina, sorry. Too many goddamn similar names. Champion songs. Um, so yeah. One of those shrines with the, uh... A figure carrying... Someone. I don't know the significance of. We've we been here. No, we have not, because there is a uh, another perfumer here. Well, let's deal with him in the very fair way. Very nice. Or we have been here, and this is just the opposite direction. Oh, there's also Z there's also uh, zombies here. But this is where the site of grace is. Okay. Don't know if I want to rest yet, because I, I still want to find out where exactly the fucking thing was. Alright, Zambies. Here? Can we see it from here? No, that's just where the fucking basilisks are, which I, let me tell you, I don't want to deal with them. Okay. It wasn't here. We see it from here. Also not. What the fuck were we? Are we at a different side of Grace? No, there's only two in this castle. Oh. Oh, there's another ladder that we can kick down. And there it is. Okay, so it is there. Shit. Should have kicked the ladder down, because now I don't think I can get back up there unless we go back to here. 
Okay, so we need to really uh, pay attention to that. I really want to know what this fucking item is. Better be like a weapon or something. Something cool. Armor. Anything. I'll take weapon or armor. Anything with lore on it, alright? Or another, you know, if it's a perfumer bottle, I suspect it might be. I, I won't be disappointed with that either. Ritual pot, same same goes. I'd be okay with it being a ritual pot, though I don't really see any reason as to why it would be a ritual pot. Crack pot, I would be a bit disappointed about, and a stone sword key I would be super disappointed with. Or, like, a rune arc, or... One of the other less necessary reagents, you know, like Trino's lilies or Arteria leaves, just like, no, I don't want it. Okay, let's try this again, actually. I just want to see how effective this is, because for some reason, it, like, it didn't work. Yeah, it's not hitting the other one. That is very strange. Why didn't it hit the other one? Eh, yeah, nowhere for you to back away to now, pal. Give me your helmet. Oh, okay, just Miranda powder, but hey, that's fine. I'll take the Miranda powder. We can use it for things. Alright, pal. Again. Or for him to run. More Miranda powder. So, yeah. Oh no, it's it's here. But here is the ladder that we can kick. Excellent, there you go. Got that, and we just need to get to the other side of this uh, thing. So I was on the right track, I just gave up. And was, where the hell was it? Yes, yes. Alright, better be good. Fuck's sake. <sighs> Sometimes. Alright, we're gonna go to Rikard. We're gonna give Tanith. And if the, uh, dancer's thing. Hopefully she's still alright. Yep, she's still eating Rikard. And if... Yeah, we're gonna give her the castanets. What is it? I have no need of that. Uh, I must continue devouring my beloved lord. Oh, get, oh, you. Allow me some time. Our lord's carcass is not easily consumed. Doesn't want it. Dear Rikard, I wish one day... No, you're not going to devour the gods together. Maybe we need to try it again? She doesn't want it. Interesting. She clearly doesn't want to have an attachment to her previous... Oh, you... Allow me some... Our Lord's cock... What are we supposed to do with it? We leave it there for her? Maybe she won't take it, but if we leave it there... I feel like that's a mistake, though. But at the same time... Let me get banish it. Yeah, we were gonna give this... What, where did... No, what did we get this from? Gift bestowed by Rikard, sworn to blasphemy to Lady Tanith. My lord, be no greater distress than to forget you. Yeah, she doesn't... She doesn't want to forget, that's the problem. She's a, she's a fanatic. Right, she's a very, very misguided fanatic. Ugh. Wait, I don't have them anymore. Interesting. They're gone from my inventory. Well, maybe we need to just come back here some other time. Um, now there's another thing that I wanted to do. Uh, where was it? Right here. Because I was just walking around. Um, showing a friend of mine some of the, uh... Beautiful vistas of Elden Ring, because she doesn't play it herself. Um, and, um, yeah, I went to talk to Millicent, and a certain dialogue option came up. Now, I'm tracing the path Melania took. She's passed into the lands that lie beyond the Erd Tree. I can give her the Valkyrie prosthesis, which, you know, makes a ton of sense. I should have realized this on my own. Like, who's, who's missing an arm? Who could use a prosthetic arm? Uh, well, Millicent. Are you giving me this arm? Yes. Oh, thank you. I am in your debt yet again. I think. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. 
Again. You were a warrior once. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. Okay. Perhaps. Wait, she said perhaps something? If the arm... It might be possible. Perhaps then I can aid you in battle. Okay. That might mean that we can summon her at some point. Or maybe, like, unfortunately, maybe she'll, like, die and then we can summon her as ashes. You know, like Latena. It would suck. I, I don't want Millicent to die. I'd rather have her not die and not be able to summon her. Um, but if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. I'm looking to see if, uh, Patches has gone anywhere. Seeing if there's anything we can do. There's still Alexander there, still, uh, heating himself. I don't know what else to do with him. Reader Crone, we got Brother Corin here. I, I don't really know what Corin's doing. Um, Bladed Merchant Shack. Bestial Sanctum. I think we can get rid of this. Beat Garank. And the War Dead Catacombs. Yeah, I, I can still go back to the War Dead Catacombs. I, I still don't want to, though, because fuck that place. Um. Oh. Still Gostok. You know, I guess we can go see. Check if Gostok has anything new to say. I think he's still just eating up. Godric's corpse. Now I can. Can okay. I? Anything going on in the throne room? Nope. All right. Well, um. Wait, what? Let's actually go to round table hold. Talk to people there. Who knows? Maybe we'll even see patches here. Wouldn't that be funny? No one here. Looking awfully empty. People are leaving. Um. Do you have anything? Say? Journey to the capital. God damn it. He says the same damn thing. Maybe we need to just go into Lane Dell, right? We go into Lane Dell. I don't I don't even want to talk to him. I do not like the dung eater. He is in fact loathsome. Much as the name suggested. Uh have any like I wonder. Probably no <sighs> new remembrances or anything that we can buy. Well, so here's the thing. We could make the blasphemous blade. Could be interesting. I don't know, it's just disgusting, though. Now, I don't think I want to, like, follow Rikert's path at all. There's the Grafted Dragon, which could be interesting. Oh! 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 Okay. Battered helm from a foreign land, worn by Elmer the Briar. The winding, rusted... Iron briars are a mark of the guilty and typically indicate a sentence of death. They also cause this armor to deal damage when performing dodge rolls. Elmer murdered numerous instructors and merchants and was known as the Bell Bearing Hunter. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, we know what Bell Bearings are. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to buy it. It looks cool. I've got the money, so why not? Look. Let's put it on. But yeah, uh, so this very clearly connects um, the, like, the Briar armor and all that type of stuff, and the Briar sword with the, uh, the Briars of Sin sorcery. So that sorcery must have indeed come from um, Elamer. It actually looks pretty cool. Not sure about the helmet, but... I like the rest of it a lot. Okay, that mm, would look okay. Is there a better helmet to go with it, though? But I do like it. Male? No. Too too shiny, too fancy. It's always just a hood, but that doesn't, like, no, it doesn't have the same color. That would be kind of a bluish hood. Fortunately. Um, not the same armor color either. Red Hood? 
No, it doesn't work. I, I don't really have a, a proper helmet for this, fortunately. I mean, just the one that it comes with, obviously, but I, I just don't like the look of that helmet all that much. Just go with, like, a... One of these? Nah. Too pointy. Yeah, I wish it wasn't so blue. Um, because I want to, you know, change up our attire every now and then. The guilty hood, huh? No, doesn't do it. I swear, I circle it. It's fine. It does look pretty cool, right? Nothing else going on here. Uh, we'll check with Roderica and them. They're uh, over this way. Greetings. Are you here for spirit? Yeah. Uh, I don't have any spirits that I feel the particular need to uh, level up. All right, we could level up our kindred of rot, I guess. Why not? All right. Let us be gone from this place, and I guess we'll. Uh... Yeah, where do we go now? Go back to. Uh... Altus here, so we talked to Millicent. We gave her the thing. Wonder if we reload the area if she's gonna be gone. We can always uh, go here anyway, so. Nope, she's still there. Okay. Well, so there's a minor archery there. We have this path up here. Tell you what, we're going to take the Bridge of Iniquity and we're going to take the upper path around this Ur tree. That way we can look down and see what's at the Ur tree. Um, so we need to cross the bridge, indeed. I think we've basically done most of the stuff in Mount Gelmir. It's a bit of a smaller zone, kind of, uh, you know, ultimately probably Weeping Peninsula size. Much more verticality, obviously, but of a sub-zone. Whoa, triple kill. Pretty cool. Oh, there's lots of soldiers here. Well, let's slaughter them. Oh, we got them already. Are you gonna come down? Thank you. Making this easier on me. What do we got over here? That's, that's the Shaded Castle, right? Yeah. It's a pretty cool area, all things considered. I don't know if I missed anything. Quite possible. I may go back in my own time and check to see if there was anything left. Much as I did with some of the other places. Alright, up here. What do we got? That looks like something. There are... What the fuck? What the fuck? Ugh. Excuse me? What? Oh God, it's gross. I, I just want to kill it. Gotten rid of them. That's not very effective. Tell you what. What about this? Oh god, blood dogs. Favorite. Alright, that's enough of that. I'm just, what's the, uh... What the fuck is it? Like... Ugh, it's disgusting. Just flesh. It's like the flesh we saw in that church in Liurnia. 
Huh. What do you what do you drop? Didn't even drop anything. Okay, so possibly not much point in killing these things. Dear lord, what what happened here though? More blood dogs. The slime creature. a big one. Two hits. There's still more of them. There's a lot of them here, actually. Any other, uh... What do we got in here, aside from more slimes? Oh, a ruin. Something to drop down into, anyways. Got all the sacramental bloods. What is the relation with the sacramental blood... Uh, sacramental buds? I have no need to kill these things, so I'm just gonna head head on down. See what we're gonna find. Ah, immediate straight to a boss fight. Okay. Um. Hey, it's one of these. Okay, we have a name for them. They are called Sanguine Nobles. Probably associated with the Mogwin, I would guess. Right? What did you drop? Nothing. Okay, so it's just gonna lead to a chest then. Deck, okay. Something glitched out for a second, but it seems to all be fine. Yeah. Okay. Bloody Helis. Excuse me? What kind of sword is this? The uh, thrusting sword. Two handed thrusting sword, even. Um. Whip it. See what it looks like. Ooh! Cool. It's a drill. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's, uh. Quickly read it. The description for it, see what this is. Ominous piercing sword with a winding blade, carried by the noble servants of the Lord of Blood, indeed. Designed to bore into flesh, causing severe blood loss at the wound. The extracted blood trickles gracefully down the length of the blade. Yeah, as one would assume. Unique skill, Dynasty's Finesse. Nimbly avoid an attack, securing some distance from foes. Follow up with a strong attack to perform a sudden lunge. And press strong attack again to perform a sweeping slice. Cool. Kind of a bloodhound step, but... Yeah, it's got 33 blood loss. Build up, which is actually not that much. The other swords have more. See, that one has like 55. Or is less better. Maybe less is better. Ooh. That's cool. I like it. Obviously, uh, not really something that we can use, though. What does it require, actually? I didn't... More. It's an arcane. Okay. Yeah, all the blood weapons are uh, scaled around arcane. So. It makes sense. Alright, cool. Just a quick boss fight. Alright, let's uh, finish clearing this area. So that restored a flask. Okay, then this was just a very quick ruin. I guess this is you guys making this weird-ass noise. So, is it? Or is something else going on here? I don't know. We got a windmill. Interesting. Um. Our enemy soldiers. We're gonna go up this way towards this windmill. Oh! 
Right, yeah, they use perfumes. Forgot about that. Couple more, another group of soldiers. And we have ourselves a crashed cart. You're gonna have an item in you. No. Shame. Mad pumpkin head. With an item right next to him. Kill him. Take this. What do we got here? Gravel stone. Not very useful. Anything around here? Anything to drop down to? I mean, there's a Michaela's lily here, so... Yes, that's what we get. We went over there, right? Yeah. Uh, excuse me? What was that? I think so. Hey, it's an actual caravan. Interesting. Uh, a whole lot of uh, sneaky guys hiding in the bushes. Alright, mates. Enough of that. Kill one. All, all you need to do is kill one, then you can harvest. I mean, they're 2,000 something ruins. They may as well kill the other one. It's not like we have to risk much of anything. Right, mate. I'm here trying to mind my own business, and you're sitting there poking me with that fucking torch thing. Alright. That's both of them gone. We got ourselves a pumpkin head. Let's kill it, too. Damn. This is three-shotting them. It's really good. And I think our attacks were also three-shotting them. What do we get out of this? The Great Stars. Excuse me? Seems like a bludgeon, right? Yeah, there it is. Great hammer. Uh, heavy, or huge bludgeon with three stars at the striking end. Though primarily a striking weapon, the stars of spikes cause bloodlust. Blood loss. A star-stained, a blood-stained star is an ill omen. A fact not lost upon those against whom this weapon is brought to bear. Landing attacks slightly restores HP. Interesting, I wonder if this has anything to do with the star of blood referenced in the, um, item. The Briars of Sin. Now, I'll tell you what, guys. You're gonna clump up here nicely. No, I need you guys to clump up here even more nicely. In fact, I can do this from horseback, so... There's no reason why... Well, they're not really making it easy for me. I guess I can understand. Why doesn't... Why won't it let me do it? Huh? Weird. Well, I guess we're gonna do this instead. Oh, it's beautiful. Goddamn perfumes. Okay! I get it! That for him. All we need to do is get one good one. Is there anything up here? No. Well, more soldiers, the looks of it. Like whole camps of them everywhere. Kinda cool, actually. Alright. 
What is making that noise? Nothing else up here. Spirit Spring to jump up to the bridge, and we have... Huh? The fuck is that? I haven't the slightest fucking clue what that is. That's interesting. New enemy. I feel like we're at the, that point in the game where, like, we've encountered most of the enemies. So every time something new shows up, you're like, huh. You know, it's a big deal. As opposed to at the beginning of the game, everything's fucking new. Like, every new zone you go to. Is... You're carrying a chest. Oh, no way! I got Gold Rune 10. That's fucking cool. Wasn't expecting that. What? I've never seen that. Is that only here? Oh, nice. We accidentally killed a dragonfly. Wow. That Gelmir looks very cool. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, there's like... These nobles that carry chests. I imagine they don't respawn. Hey, we got the noble slender sword, finally. Oops! This isn't what I wanted. Okay? I just wanted to kill you normally, but instead, madness. I mean, I guess that's how madness worked. Why don't we look at the uh, aristocrat slender sword? Noble slender sword. Narrow blade. Carried by wandering nobles, made to be easy to wield. Daubed with gold from tip to tail, it should fetch a good sum. Yeah. Expensive, but <laughs> nothing special. As one would expect from uh, wandering nobles that don't really know what they're doing. Yeah, I, it just occurred to me we haven't encountered a uh, Sight of Grace in a while, so that's nice. Where are we, actually? Yeah, we're going up, up this way. So the bridge leads... Up to this top here, which we're also going to be able to get to on our own. What's the time of our uh, recording here? We're at 57 minutes. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to end today's episode right here under this nice bridge. And then in the next episode, we're going to go continue ascending the plateau and um, make our way to the windmill. Although, I think we lost sight of where the windmill was. We're heading in that direction, but we kind of had to go around. So now I don't know where, I don't know where it is anymore. We'll see if we can find it. Alright, guys. Leave it a like if you've enjoyed it. And I will, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Ash Arator out.